breaking news overnight that dramatic rescue the diver that was trapped in a Tennessee cave has been saved. We're going to hear from the man who got him out in a moment, but first let's go to Steve Osinsami, who's there on the scene in Jackson County, Tennessee. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, Robin. Cave diving is one of the most dangerous things to do on the planet. The entrance to this cave is underwater and the divers use a thin type of rope to guide themselves in and out of the caves and this diver lost his. This morning, it's the rescuer who needed rescuing. British diver Josh Bratchley, one of the most elite cave divers in the world, was trapped inside this Tennessee cave for more than 36 hours. Bratchley walked out alive, refusing medical treatment. Bratchley is usually the one doing the rescuing. Last summer, he was part of the same team of divers that helped a soccer team escape from a cave in Thailand. He spoke about the experience on Good Morning Britain. The relief when we emerged as well to, her, to find that the kids were safe was, was just amazing. He went missing Tuesday afternoon while diving in a cave about an hour outside Nashville. Divers who were in the cave with him searched for hours but couldn't find him. Local authorities called a specially trained diver to help. The cave in Gainesboro, Tennessee is about 400 feet long from front to end with water roughly 40 feet deep. Temperatures are around 55 degrees and there are air pockets inside the cave. They found the lost diver in one of them that was quite large. They were hoping against hope to find him alive and they did. For most people, this type of experience would be somewhat extractive, but this diver says he is already planning to dive again. Amy. Steve Osinsami, thank you. Let's bring in diver Ed Sorensen, who rescued Bradshley. Ed, thanks for being with us this morning. And if you can tell us exactly how you found Josh and how you got him out safely. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, <clears throat> it uh, it was difficult. It was low, silty, um, dangerous. The line was broken. The only way that a diver would have to follow out so uh, it was it was quite a difficult uh, task just finding him and where did you find him and can you tell me what his reaction was when he saw you he was up in an air pocket um, that's where we were hoping he was if there was any chance for his survival um, <clears throat> and when I first breached the surface um, I was looking directly at him and it was a fairly big air pocket. He was about 12 feet away and he just said, thank you, thank you. And, and the interesting thing for us laymen who know nothing really about diving or, or cave systems, to have such an experienced diver get trapped like this, what were the threats he was facing and how does something like that happen to someone like him? Well, in, a, in any cave, um, the guideline to the surface, uh, if, if things go wrong, that's your only way home. So when, that, uh, when he got lost off the line, um, and it's, it's just feet of pure silt. So uh, one slip and the visibility goes from whatever you had to nothing in the blink of an eye. So uh, once he got off the line, um, th there was really no chance for him. And Ed, I know, as I mentioned, you've done rescues uh, like this, but what is it like to rescue a fellow diver and, and someone who has spent much of his life rescuing others? Was it more special or just give me a, a sense of what it felt like for you personally? Well, rescues are very, very rare. So uh, anytime I can bring somebody home uh, back to their family and not in a bag, uh, it's a great day. So when I first surfaced and after he thanked me, um, <clears throat> I started asking him questions, how he was, what his health was like. And he just looked at me and he said, I'm not used to being on this end of the rescue. Mm. Well, thank goodness you were there on the other end. Ed Sorensen, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Glad uh, he, he had exactly the temperament you'd want for someone exactly. to come and rescue you, I right? Doing the that. job. Yeah. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.